Hey guys, I'm Andy. This is Ohio Blade and Cutlery, and today we're taking a look at the second Ned Foss knife. This time, it's a fixed blade. Okay guys, so a company called Ned Foss, uh, sent, they sent me a very large pocket knife a little while ago. I did a review of that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a, a link up there so you can see that video. And they sent me a second one. This one is a fixed blade, so super excited about that. I did want to say they provided both of those knives free of charge to the channel, so I really appreciate the generosity and really excited to take a look at this. So. Um, they have a store on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can purchase this knife if you're interested. Um, it does not provide anything to me. I don't get any kickbacks or anything for the channel. Just if you're curious and, or if you want to buy one for yourself, the link is down there just for your convenience. Um, so fast shipping, and I think this is around $35 or so. So uh, let's, let's dig in. So this is... Uh, about a seven inch blade you got a five inch handle so it's uh, 13 inches overall you know pretty large bowie knife here you do have a hollow grind on the blade you do have a saw back and that is actually really aggressive so I'm I'm really looking forward to checking that out because I anticipate that will do well uh, you got wood handles steel bolsters and a lanyard hole for those of you that just got to have your lanyards um, and you do have a forward finger choil so you can choke up on it which is nice now the the problem is with the saw back you know <laughs> you don't have a good place for your thumb when you choke up so you just got to grip it like that but um, you know ergonomics on it are actually pretty good uh, you know it is forward heavy being a seven inch blade so I I think it's gonna do well as a chopper but we'll see uh, got a nice swedge up here and uh, the fit and finish on it is really, really good. So, you know, you can see it is full tang. It is one continuous piece of steel all the way down. And, um, you know, you got a pretty decent match up here. You know, if I drag my finger across, my fingernail will get caught on that edge there. And that's pretty much all the way around. But uh, actually, you know, you can't feel it when you're, when you're gripping it, even if you slide your hand around. It doesn't doesn't hang up at all so it's actually a pretty decent uh, fit and finish on there you can see the steel bolsters they line up nice and tight with the wood nice and tight with the uh, the tang so you know overall it's actually pretty good and then you know you got the pins they're nice and smooth with the wood no hang up hang ups there so uh, anyways that's a knife Let's take a closer look and uh, start beating on it. Okay guys, here real quick. This is the packaging it comes in. It's just a plain black box. It is made in China, so did want to point that out. So there you go, nothing special there. Now, the knife itself, it does come with a sheath, which is actually pretty decent for the price point here. Um, it is you know, a leather look. It is not real leather, so you, know, you can see it's, uh, it's a faux leather. Um, it's, I'd say, uh, on the thin side, but, um, you know, fit and finish on it is pretty nice. It is single stitched, not double stitched, and uh, you do have a fairly generous belt loop there. Uh, fit, my, uh, fit my belt very well, and you do have a retaining strap there. And then you've got these decorative grommets on the outside there, so, um, you know decent uh, sheath it does fit in there nice and tight so 
you know, even without it being strapped in, you know, it, it doesn't really want to come out. So, it, you know, it's it shifted a little bit, but, uh, you know, once you, once you snap it in, it's not going anywhere. There's no noise, you know. Um, so that's kind of nice. I like that. So that is it with the sheath. And, um, you know, with the knife itself, uh, mystery stainless on it. it. You know, they don't really say what the stainless steel is, but, um, you know, we'll see how it holds up here. We're going to start out with some cutting tests. Uh, just like the last video, I'm going to start out with some easy stuff and we'll get progressively more difficult in terms of uh, the material that I'm cutting through and chopping. So, yeah, let's get started and see how it does.
Okay, let's see how it retained that edge. We're gonna do a post-test comparison here with the, the paper cut. Seems to be basically the same. Uh, I see, I see really no difference. Um, still sharp as can be. I mean, look at that. Sweet. Uh, I'm actually really happy with that. So, um, that thing's sharp. Well, there you go, guys. That is the Bowie knife from Ned Foss Knives. And again, you can buy those over on Amazon. And, uh, Man, I, that actually worked out awesome. I am very impressed with the performance of that knife. Um, given that it was a mystery stainless, I had low expectations, but man, it, it came razor freaking sharp, stayed razor freaking sharp, and it handled all the tasks that I threw at it. Uh, I mean, even chopped down a small tree, so how can you complain with that? The saw back actually works really nice. I expected it to take a little bit more material than it did, but uh, you know, it, it works as advertised. And um, you know, the, the only complaint I have is I'd like to see some kind of thumb ramp up here for when you're choking up and you know, maybe only have the saw back from here forward, you know, but uh, I, also, I don't think you need the clip point. I would actually cut that point off so that you have a nice flat spot to baton because that's basically where you want to hit is like right in this area, you know, between here and here. So I would just flatten that off. You do have a 90 degree spine right there. So you can hit a ferro rod. I didn't bring one out here today, but um, that is very sharp. So. Uh, I have very good confidence that that will work. Um, this is not a blemish, this is just mud. Um, it's, <laughs> I'll have to scrub at that a little bit to get that off. Uh, the satin finish, uh, you know, it does have some scratches on it, but not bad given what I, what I did to this thing. Um, you know, the edge is still very, very sharp. Um, no complaints about that. I mean, you can see it just bites into the wood and uh, yeah, just, overall very happy with that knife the handle is actually really comfortable um, you know I, I didn't get any kind of pain in my hands which I usually do when I do these kinds of tests I should wear gloves but the knife performed extremely well um, no complaints I think for 35 bucks that's actually a, a very good bargain and uh, you know I, I think they could do better on the sheath but um, you know, for the price point, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit, you know what I mean? So thank you guys again so much for watching. Uh, I will have more content out soon. <laughs> I, I know it's been sporadic, but uh, you know, life is busy. So uh, I do have more content coming up. So stay tuned for that and I will see you on the next one.